Horns of Destruction. Uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, and uh, yeah, we can't really follow that. So. We're done. Yeah, that was great. Sure. I really yeah. enjoyed that. <laughs> Those guys are funky and they gave me a CD. I'm yeah. very happy. <laughs> Free stuff always works. All right. Um, so so uh, let's, let's get to the meat and potatoes. Indeed. Uh, out this weekend, Avatar. It has uh, been much talked about, much ballyhoo yes. has been made about this movie over the past uh, You know it's got to be an important movie because the youngsters these days don't do too much ballyhooing. No, yeah. yeah but they're, they're ballyhooing like crazy. You've got the kids in the yeah. saggy pants and mm -hmm. the rice burners all yeah. ballyhoo. <laughs> So you know Avatar yeah. is going to be a big film. Uh, it's quite guys, a to-do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's a big kerfuffle on the yes. streets. <laughs> you guys have both seen it. Um, no, ask what the rumpus is. What is the rumpus, well, Mr. There's Russell? There's a movie out called Avatar. It's uh, James Cameron's yes. return to filmmaking uh, for the first time since Titanic. Yeah. Um, uh, he, was, he spent the last, what, 12 years, I think it was? Yeah, uh, in a submarine. Deep sea yeah. diving and uh, developing lots of 3D technology. Mm -hmm. um, the film is a, uh, I thought the, the movie has been billed largely with its technical achievements. Yeah. yeah. And the technical achievements are amazing. The film is about a uh, very simple sort of John Carter of Mars story about a young uh, wounded war hero on Earth, Jake Sully, uh, who it goes to the planet Pandora as part of a mining operation. And uh, he is, uh, there are uh, natives who live there called the Navi. They're yeah. 12 foot tall blue people, hot blue people. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, they do uh, all have rippling abs. They, they do have abs. Yeah, well, yeah. Great proportions, they look yeah. magnificent. All that mm -hmm. running around in the jungle, of course. That's yeah. right, yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, and, I'm, 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 it would be nice to throw a bone to, to some of the people who eat this stuff up on the daily. <laughs> have a little fat kid running Yeah, have a little tubby Navi. <laughs> little tubby Navi. Not this, no. Yeah, like in a Pac-Man shirt with yeah. Cheetos things. <laughs> they are all perfect. Yes, all, all of them. them. Yeah, and uh, and they also uh, have this remarkable ability to, uh, they all have um, essentially USB ports in their ponytails yeah. that they can wire into the planet's <laughs> nervous system. Okay. Yes. Because on this planet, Gaia, the mother Earth goddess, uh, the Earth, the planet goddess, yeah. is a real thing. Um, and, uh, and, and, and so what you have is uh, this all creates an opportunity for James Cameron to basically push computer-generated technology as far as he can. Right. Um, and the movie, the greatest achievements are all technical. He used a lot of new processes to film it in 3D, and it's an amazing 3D experience. Um, the de he uses 3D in an interesting way where he goes into depth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rather than poking things in your face like most filmmakers, he right. basically creates this sense that you're watching a, a diorama that goes back and uh, okay, farther yeah, and yeah, farther. It's a lot more like Coraline's use of 3D, right, yeah, right. or to a lesser extent, Up's, because right, Up's right. was a 3D effect that was uh, applied afterwards. They didn't make right. Up in yeah. 3D, they just sort of applied it afterwards. Right. So you had that sort of subtle 3D in Up, and they use it really well in Coraline. Coraline was in, fantastic. In this movie, yeah. um, Probably the most subtle thing Cameron does, and Cameron is not a subtle director. No, right? and this is and not a subtle movie. This is his least subtle movie. Yeah. Um, the most subtle thing he does happens in the first five minutes when he shows you that 3D capability. Mm -hmm. It opens basically flat, right. and there are like two little raindrops just sitting in front of you, or two little beads of moisture. Yeah. And the camera starts to pull back slowly, but as it's pulling back, the depth is going farther, and then he starts spinning the camera. So you're going to find out really quickly during the movie whether your motions, your susceptible yeah, motion yeah, sickness right. or not, because after about a minute, you realize that what you are in is a giant kaleidoscope that is spinning while it's going deeper. You're in a, you are living a rack zoom. Yeah. Wow. And that's, and that's how he shows you that this is a 3D movie, and it's it's a really brilliant shot. The technology is extraordinary, and. Um, 
the planet that they go to is a, a level of production design I don't think we've probably ever seen before. He did it with Weta, the guys who do uh, Lord of the Rings. Right, yeah. And they've done this incredible from the ground up world building. The movie, had, the planet has its own ecosystem, animals, and all of it is rendered on a level of um, detail that we've never seen. And the nice thing is that he actually developed technology where there's an effect called the uncanny valley. Yes. Uh, where, you know, Polar Express being the best example, yes. where something looks pretty close to human and then uh, it looks a little just glazed and so it freaks you out. Yeah. Uh, Cameron has essentially uh, catapulted across that by uh, developing new technology that catches very minute facial movements. All of the Navi 12 foot tall blue people are played yeah. by human actors, you know, running around in scuba suits with dots on their face in yeah. a in a yeah. studio. Actually, I think they have cameras. And they have mounted. cameras filming their faces. And so, but it get, he gets out of those actors a level of uh, performance capture that is really remarkable. Yeah. Now you it hasn't been seen since uh, Gollum. Since yeah, Gollum was right. getting in a fight with himself on mm -hmm. a tree stump, that level of acting yeah. is the norm for these characters. Wow. It's next level stuff. Now, here's the thing. You may notice, Court Weber, yes. that I am talking <laughs> mostly about the technical achievements of the film yes. and how neat it looks. Well, this is, I mean, this is something that happens a lot with James Cameron, where yeah. uh, people talk about how, how amazing all those, those neat effects were. Those and, neat effects. Yeah, when, once they start getting down to plotting and, and you know, the actual yeah. the conversations happening during the course of the movie, everybody goes kind of, Ugh. Well, that's, that is my, and this is where I'm probably more ambivalent than Fatboy is. I think yeah. Fatboy actually, who wrote a great review of it for Cracked yeah. magazine, crack.com, yes. um, and, uh, and, I, and I wrote one for Ain't Cool News mm -hmm. um, that is a lot less, um, longer, yeah. twice as long. You can see it being happy. eviscerated right now yeah. over yeah. AICM. Yeah. Talkbackers, yeah. thanks guys. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, but uh, but what 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 I think the problem with the film is is that the story is very thin. He's always had told very simple stories, mm -hmm. but they've always had vivid dialogue, and he sketches characters really quickly. And he usually, like in Aliens, especially or The Abyss, he does a really good job of getting an ensemble of people together, sketch them very quickly, and then put them in conflict with each other and the larger threat. Right. The big thrust of this movie is that the humans are evil exploiters of the Earth. And they put uh, the wounded war hero, Jake Sully, into a 12-foot-tall body using technology that's called an avatar yeah. that he sort of drives around. And he goes native. Yeah. That's the big thrust of the movie. Now, here's where the movie lost me. Because I thought it turned into a very sort of binary experience. It's, uh, it's very... Um, the humans are evil. Yeah. And the, the, the savages are noble. And the noble savage is a terrible thing in movies. Right. It's a terrible myth. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a racist myth, except it's racist in this against 12 foot tall blue people, so I don't really know <laughs> who to blame. Yeah, yeah but it's pretty safe. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the thing is, is that I, the movie becomes very simple minded, and especially with its, you know, the gay Mother Earth eco message. I mean, I, I like the environment. Yeah. I want to, I'm pro conservation. Mm -hmm. But I, the way Cameron gets with this, it gets so binary toward the end that sure, he's, you know, it's like he's beating you over the head with a two by four right. yeah. with his I, message. I got mm -hmm. kind of a sense. It's very unsubtle in a way. I think even for his stuff. No, no, no. Yeah, this is by far, as, as far as the story goes, um, the least yeah. of his movies, which is um, more easily overlooked because this is probably the prettiest movie that's yeah. ever been right. shot. Well, so, I mean, that, that's, it's, it's a good thing yeah. he managed to push the technology as far forward as he did because that helps you sort of just kind of gloss over the fact that this is the weakest story he's put yeah. on screen. But you go ahead and give him a pass for that because he is so giddy. Mm -hmm. Oh to, yeah. To, to show you his goofy story, he's he's like uh, your three-year-old yeah. who figured out how to color inside the lines right. yeah. and is running home. Put this on the fridge. That's what <laughs> Avatar is. He wants everyone to put this on their fridge and go, "What a great blue right. planet you made." But here's my thing. And here's my here's my problem with that. Uh, and this is why I go harder than you against this. Mm -hmm. Is that a lot of people are saying that it's a movie for 14-year-old boys. Well, you know what I was watching when I was 14. I was watching I like The Terminator. Yeah, right. right. I was watching, yeah. I was, you know, if, I, if I had been 13, 14 at the time, I would have been watching Aliens. Yeah. And the thing is, those movies had things, uh, did, had things that this movie uh, doesn't have. It had a lot of more sophisticated uh, yeah, interplay between the characters. Right. Up, and it was a richer story. Uh, and also, what it did, Aliens and, and The Terminator did not have is a um, sort of Celine Dion-esque power ballad that yeah. appears at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually found the movie very sledgehammer on some, although I will say, again, if you go see this, it's absolutely worth paying to see in 3D IMAX because you will be Wait, swallowed whole by the world this film creates. Well, uh, what I think uh, with, with Cameron, his abilities seem to lend themselves towards uh, not so much the message. I don't think he does messages well because I got the same sense the uh, abyss. from <laughs> The Abyss and especially the director's yeah. cut of The Abyss was very like... Be nice to each other. No. Be nice to each other. But this makes that. Yeah. The thing is, that I, I, one thing I argued today on, in my review is that uh, everything Cameron does in this movie, other than the look and the world building, which yeah. is huge, has been done better right. yeah. elsewhere. The Abyss, did, the, the, the Abyss yeah. did Unsubtle Sledgehammer message movie better. Yeah. Aliens did um, the 
Carter Burke character better. There's a character in this play by Giovanni Ribisi who's just, who's not interesting like Carter, like Paul Reiser's character yeah. in Aliens was. He's, like the first time you see him, he's hitting a golf ball into a cup. That's like a bar napkin yeah. subtle <laughs> depiction of a, of a corporate sleaze. And then, um, you know, I, I, I would say he did, uh, he did uh, the, the, the badass military character uh, better in... Um, in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in no, in the abyss with Michael Bean. Okay, oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. And um, anyway. we both flashed to Michael Bean. We, yeah. knew we have. We, we're being asked to toss to Cami. Oh, okay. Not sure what we need to toss. Well, to yes, uh, Cami uh, and Rick. Yeah. Oh, are we back? Yeah. I don't know. It was all right. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. It's taking a little nap guys? there. Um, um. Yeah. Yeah. So we have something very special. Wait first. Yes. Oh, Cammy's going to do it. Let's give it up for uh, Court and Bobby and Mike. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank for you so much. Us. And then maybe a little some something, something for uh, Target for tomorrow and the Horns of Destruction. Target for tomorrow, over there. That was a little. I want more. Yeah, that's that's more. All right. Like thank it. you. Yeah, so. Um, you know, we we have to do a handoff. We do. But I'm noting that it's 8:01. Oh, which, which means, means we're into the next hour. It's time for the next letter. And the next letter is? C. C. For Cammy. Write it down, those of you keeping score letter at home. Letter C. I hope I you're can't. keeping track. Whoa, backwards. There we go. Okay. Um, but you know what we've got? What? I don't know if, if you guys are aware, but that, that Brian M. Westbrook guy. He's all over Portland. We have got him roaming around. And right now, we've got him down at Peacock Lane. And something very musical is happening there. Yeah. So we'll... Throw it on over to him. So Brian. There he is. Hi, me? Brian. Who's going to send it to me? Who should I thank? It's just, it's it looks- hey, guys. Uh, well, we're reporting live from Peacock Lane. Thank you so much for throwing it back over here. Uh, sorry, we have a little trouble hearing and seeing what's going on back at the studio, but I know everyone is having a great time at 30hourday.org. And I'll tell you this, we got some great feedback from the remote we did at the Green Dragon. We decided to come to the place to find Christmas lights in Portland. It's been happening since 1929. And if you're good at math, I know it's a little bit late. That is how many, well, let me let me ask the expert. Let's. I'm gonna phone a friend. We just happen to be in the neighborhood and Nate is here. And Nate, you have something you're doing on 30 Hour Day tomorrow, is that correct? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, Brian, I am. I am uh, launching off the uh, shameless ripoff of Car Talk, known as Tech Talk, at 9 a.m. tomorrow on 30 Hour Day with uh, the indefigitable Morgan PDX. And extra credit if you can spell indefigitable. And you brought your family out to see the Christmas lights. What have you seen so far? And your name, I'm sorry, it's Twyla? Are you having a good time, Twyla? Yes. <laughs> yes. What have you seen so far? Mm, a lot of lights. A lot of lights. Anything jump out at you? Did you see Santa Claus? Did you see any reindeer? Yeah. <laughs> well, we are raising money here. We're here at, uh, at Peacock Lane to bring you a, some of the fun and excitement of Portland. People are watching from all over the, around the world, as you know. And one of the neat things about this organization, this fundraiser, is that we're raising money for, not only are we raising money for free geeks, so those that can't afford them can have computers, we're also raising money for the Oregon Food Bank. But one of my favorite charities, Toys for Tots, we did a fundraiser, and there are a lot of kids around here, and, and maybe these kids have Christmas presents under the trees, but some of them don't. And so this is a great opportunity. You can bring in a new unwrapped toy. You can donate money to Toys for Tots. We collected a lot of them at Beard blog just a little bit ago, and you can actually make a difference. You can make a donation. Uh, there are a lot of folks out here at Peacock Lane, up and down the street, of course, if you've ever lived, if you've ever been here, and a lot of folks I know just avoid the scene like the Olympics. They skip town because they just can't handle being here. But the organization, you know, it just started out as a couple of houses that wanted to put out Christmas lights, and the Christmas lights that they put out, and then eventually everyone decided, hey, we're going to get involved. We're going to put up Christmas lights as well, and it turned out the entire block from one side of the road to the other, uh, covered with Christmas lights. We drove down it just a few minutes ago, and it was it, it was fun. You know, it's really festive, and it really gets you into the holiday spirit, don't you think? 
Speaking of driving, Brian, I've been wondering what the carbon footprint of Peacock Lane is. Do you have calculations on that yet? You know, I feel like we could probably have a, one of our number crunchers back in the studio. Maybe that sounds like a great thing for Tarosi to do, don't you think? Yes, I think Tarosi or perhaps even Dr. Normal could calculate that quickly. Because I think Dr. Normal getting pulling off this live broadcast and doing an amazing job, by the way, I think he probably has something else to do right now. I, I feel like he might be busy. He may, but he always has extra cycles for math, yes. I found. <laughs> All right. So we're going to assign Dr. Normal an opportunity to calculate some of that. And uh, we're going to hang out here at Peacock Lane for a little bit. We'll probably uh, we'll, we'll check back in, in a little bit. We'll see what we can do here from Peacock Lane. We're, we're powered by wireless internet connection here, so it's actually kind of funny for those geeks in the crowd. We're literally, we're literally sitting here with a laptop on the sidewalk. We've got the tripod. I'm talking to a camera that I could barely see with folks that I can't listen to, but that's not what's important. What's important is that you click the button to hear on the donate screen that you give some money to 30-hour day. We really need your help because, you know, the economy is just terrible we all know that that's not the point the point is is that you give what you can click the donate button it's super easy to do you just click 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 money goes to the accounts where they needed toys for tots free geek oregon food bank and of course a lot of people have given a lot to help contribute auction items so to help just whatever they can whether they've given production assistance they've given donations i flew down here on seaport there. I can't thank them enough for that. We're giving away a trip on Saturday. And this hour, I understand if we're still in the 7 o'clock hour, I believe we've just jumped over to the 8 o'clock hour, but last hour I think was sponsored by The Square Live at 7. You've probably seen my tech reports on The Square Live at 7, and if you haven't, you've yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're not missing much, but uh, we're just having a great time. And there's a there's a uh, there's a chorus just next to us that just finished wrapping up. They're doing Christmas carols. They're singing and dancing, and everyone's having a really good time and uh, hanging out here at Peacock Lane. And there's some folks uh, wandering by. We're, we're trying to nab some. I think Nate's trying to nab some more people uh, to say hi to and and uh, just just go in there as we can. So, hey, there's a familiar face. How you doing? Look, it's uh, it's 30 hour day. We're broadcasting live across the country at 30 hour day dot org. And uh, say hello. 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 Are you having a good time? You're looking at Peacock Lane. I am. I'm looking at Peacock Lane, and I'm looking to get drunk soon. Really? Can you help me? Well, out? you know, I, I can't because I've got nothing. They won't <laughs> let me drink. But you know what I do have? Yeah. I do have that might help you. I do have, uh, in this pocket, I have hand warmers. Hand warmers. Will that help? Yeah, it's very the, uh, I, I, I it's stole very these. Easy. I stole these hand warmers from my parents. They are uh, they're little hand warmers. I'll give these to you. It says up to eight hours of pure heat. So Whoa, I'll give those to you. you Hang much. on to those. You might need those in case yes. your hands get cold. Now Every tell everyone. Little tell. Oh, little, what did you say? Little hotties. Yeah. Now what's your name? I'm Mrs. Coleman. Mrs. Coleman. And where can we find you on Twitter? I know you're an active Twitter. I'm Cram. Cram. See, it's just it's, it's really easy. Yeah. And, uh, of course, a lot of our Twitter friends are out and about in the community. And my understanding is that uh, we're giving you the signal that we need to wrap it up and, and go back to the studio. But, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by and joining us. Yes. Thank you so much. You. Now, where are you guys, where are you guys headed now? Where are you guys so headed? Um, Belmont Station. Station. Okay, so you guys aren't far at all. Yeah, not far at all. All right. Well, thank you for coming out. Yeah, thank you for coming and, and, and contributing to 30-Hour Day. And when you get back to your computers, 30hourday.org. Right. Click donate. You know all about it. Hey, right. He knows all about it. Say again, say again. I said, hey, Cammy, Hey, Rick. I'm sure they love that. So uh, I, I think uh, we're wrapping up here. Is that right? Uh, is, was that a yes? I think so. <laughs> oh, we're having a good time here. 30-hour day from Peacock Lane. And, uh, you know, it's funny because uh, earlier uh, producer Aaron from The Square said that I could tap dance like nobody's business, which uh, I think he's going to send me out to Troutdale and do uh, snow reports or something. So... Um, I've got a dog barking behind me. It's kind of crazy, kind of fun. So, did they come? Hey, Brian, thank you so much. That was very fun. We got to see some familiar faces. Some nice people swinging by Peacock Lane. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see the the brilliance that is Peacock Lane. It's a it's a street it's in Portland funny. where everybody kind of competes with Christmas lights. It's pretty amazing to see that thing. It is. Yeah. But you know what? We've got some amazing things going on right right here. That's true. One, dinner is soon. Dinner is soon. Um, all this podcasting has made me hungry. Yeah. Two, I have to say hi to somebody. Okay. Hi, Tim and Jan. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for loaning us your kid. She's, She's doing a great job. She's all crazy kinds of awesome.
put makeup on me like 12 times. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I put makeup on you 12 times, and what you remember is that Megan did? Well, just saying. And well, most importantly, yes. did you have something? No, go ahead. Would you like to? I'll get it in later. No, you do. One or the other. Do hours. you want to do the talks? No, I thought we didn't. You have a letter? We did the letter. Oh, okay. Then we're we fine. did the letter C for Cammy. Thank you. You're welcome. Which is funny because I'm, I can't say because then they would notice. <laughs> yeah, don't tell them. All right. Okay, guys, we're done. We're done with the witty banter. We're all it's done. It's time to get somebody it's time else for on. Some other witty banter. Over it there. would look better. It's yeah. over there. Oh, the, those are hey, there. Those guys. We're gonna we're gonna hand you over to PDX yeah. sucks after hours. Yeah. And here we with go. With a pit stop. Ready? Target for tomorrow. All Sucks. Here we go. <laughs> Minus the camera. Oh, here we go. All, All right. right. Let's do it from the top of that first. Right. Yeah, I'm listening to the radio and all I hear is noise. Target for tomorrow. Beautiful people, beautiful boys. Beautiful, beautiful boys. Good evening. Good evening, Portland. Good evening, Oregon. Good evening, United States. Good evening, Earthlings. We're Portland Sucks. Actually, we're the PDX.FM morning crew. I'm Robert Wagner. On the far end over here, we've got Sabrina Miller, my co-host and eater of chocolate. From Unibash Radio, Jay Mackin. And this person who I keep almost slapping with my hand, Emily Gibson of The Meat Show. Ow! A woman of many mustaches. Two. <laughs> now, normally, 8 o'clock every Friday night, we do this thing called PDX Sucks After Hours. And it's just kind of like this casual thing we do on the internet radio slash podcast type thing. We're not used to being seen. So if we're not quite as beautiful as we hope we are, bear with us anyway. It's all good. We've got titles down here. We got targets for tomorrow over there. Basically, we're just gonna sit here. What are you doing? We're doing the titles. <laughs> well, now it's oh, gone. It's they gone. took it away. Aww. They took it away. My there mustache. Oh back. yes, yes, it's a title. Nice, nice logo. Nice. I don't logo. get any over here. See. You can pick it up. Can you? No. Do oh, it. Yeah, you can just like. Do it. Uh, Who's convert it? You must convert everything. We're trying to raise money. Here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you guys actually on? You guys can talk. I don't know. Is yeah. This, I, I, hello. 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 Is this thing on? No. Okay. It's all active. <laughs> so anyway, what I was saying is normally we do like a two-hour radio show every Friday night at eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. We talk about various things about our area, Portland, Oregon, the most oh. wonderful. <laughs> our area. Our yeah, area. No, 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 not your area. Oh. That's after we're off the air. That's after after hours. After the after after yeah. after hours, right? Now, Jay thought we were all going to be here for the full 30 hours. I'm not going anywhere. I just wanted to be comfortable. Really? Yeah. Are you? I am very comfortable. I'm comfortable on camera. Look at me. Yeah, you look, you look good. good. The camera you makes, do look the good. Camera makes love to me. I want to take you home. The camera makes love to me. <laughs> uh, do you have shorts on? No, yeah. he has oh. nothing on under there. Oh. I was helping him change <laughs> in the restroom. Oh, that's really gross. 
No, I, why would you say that? Is that what you call man time? time? Yeah, it was a man time. Someone had to unclasp my sports bra. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't even have a camera for 30 seconds there. I no, we didn't. Was, no, we didn't. I thought you, nobody was, knows I thought what happened. I thought we were going to be broadcast by magic. Yeah. Are those Elton John sunglasses? These are Elton John sunglasses. They're beautiful. As you know, he recently was in the hospital. No, I didn't know that. Why? He had some throat problems. Did he? Uh, some sort of sickness. I went in, picked them off his face, and... That's what you do? Wait. You go to hospitals and take people's stuff? And I go to cemeteries and to steal flowers. Really? It's, it's, it's you can a, do that at the hospital, too. you got to live cheaply. They're, we're in a recession, Robert. Now, how's that affected you guys? The recession? Yeah. Well, um, I, I've, I always drink PBR. I take my dates to my house instead of the bar. And um, I play lots of video games. Let's be honest. My mustache, even, is kind of cheap tonight. It's coming off. Thanks, economical situation. I couldn't wear my, my, wear my real mustache, but... <laughs> <laughs> Facial hair on the cheap. Jay, how about you? Uh, well, let's see. I've been li living more frugally uh, and refraining from buying beef by the side of beef, buying smaller amounts, freezing it, vacuum sealing my pets... You know, it, 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 it's a tough time, but there's still room for charity, I think. I'm sorry, are you eating your pets? Is that what you're sealing your pets in bags? Well, they eat less that way. Okay. So, um, <laughs> But there's always room for charity, and I think that's why we're here. Am I right, Sabrina? You are totally right. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, we have a lot of fun in the mornings, but I think we're here to uh, raise some money for many charities. And I hope people are take, biting on this and using it and broadcasting it around the world and collecting for their own charities wherever they're at. Because, you know, here in Portland, Portland, Oregon is a very charitable city to live in. So if you're here, you're going to be involved in a charity sooner or later. And I think that uh, they really found something here. And, and as, as I understand, they did uh, encourage people around the world to use this and, as a way to raise money. Am I correct in that? Did you, did you see that? Yeah, Precisely. That, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So yeah. you are correct. So what, Serena? How are you faring during the recession? What are you doing? Today? I'm actually. I'm taking a. Um, I'm taking a note from your book. Okay. I'm gonna start clipping coupons. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Like like hardcore. I'm gonna do the Sunday paper. I'm gonna do the coupon thing. Right now I shop at Walmart. So maybe that's like a little. I know. I admitted it. So what? I'm sorry. Uh, but maybe that's, that's okay. Yeah. I might actually just decide to do that. Start clipping coupons and saving a little money here and there. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, I actually have coupons from uh, for free beer and sausage. Here? <laughs> yeah, uh, no, not for here. Oh. Well, he assumed that I like beer, so I might as well have a free sausage. Now, it's not quite a uh, milk chocolate sausage, but it's a free breakfast sausage. I can show you this right here, proof. This is from Jay Mackin. It says, buy beer, you will get a free sausage. What kind of sausage? Well, um, it says free sausage, but the actual coupon, if you want me to read it to you, I can. Is that what kind that of savings like is it? It was the first one. You're, yeah, it's the first one. Well, I'm it's sorry. The one with the note on it. Oh. Yeah. Is that the colon product? No. <laughs> oh, you moved it. we got to get to that in a minute. Yes. In Come meantime, back to me. We, we're all about sausage. Here, hand on the note. It's in the back. Okay, okay. free. Breakfast sausage links, 12 ounce. Selected varieties with card and coupon. Limit one coupon with minimum $20 purchase, not to be used in conjunction with any other coupon. Consumer pays any sales tax. But there's no tax here, so it's just the free sausage. Yeah, void where prohibited. Some restrictions may apply. Cash you can value. You only use one coupon per thing. No. That's, which is why you were confused. You, you were confused about that the you're other day. You're not going to walk in there with, the, in, with that coupon and then walk out with a trolley full of uh, sausage. You realize that. Well... If you're going to buy them, you should buy them in bulk. That's what the economy has taught me. <laughs> Costco. Okay, so yeah. bulk, can I use this at Costco, Jay? No. no. It's at a very specific place. You can't. It's for Safeway. Yes. I, hmm. So, did they donate? Safeway. Donate. Safeway. Yeah, really. So, let's go over. What was the last, I mean, 2009 is almost over. We're getting to the holiday season. Yep. It's pretty much upon us for a lot of us. What was the charitable thing you did in 2009, Sprint? Um... Well, I was able to kind of help with a uh, little thing called the Oregon Ballet Theater and uh, did a little radio show for them uh, just to kind of raise awareness of their situation, their financial situation that they were going through and uh, just thought it was really important that they stay in Portland. And um, so that's, that's, that's what I did. I donated my time. We donated the airwaves, the, the streaming waves as the it were. The fake airwaves. The fake airwaves. 
and uh, they were able to raise enough money to continue on for the new year. So that's my charitable deed for the year. Jay is charitable. What did Jay do? Actually, uh, just today, earlier today, my um, other employer, we, we decided to forego a Christmas party this year. And we uh, actually uh, had a toy drive at my work, the other place that I work. And today we went over to the Salvation Army in North Portland and sorted toys on uh, by age group on these huge tables. So tomorrow, um, special needs kids are going to go in. They're going to file through. Families are going to file through. Each kid gets to pick a, a stocking stuffer and a larger toy. And um, it was pretty cool to see how generous that some of the local organizations were. And there was this huge pile of uh, stuffed animals right in the middle of the floor. Uh, so the kids are going to go in there tomorrow. They're going to go nuts. The one thing, though, the, the, the best gift there uh, would have been great for somebody in Colorado. It was a huge sled. So I, some, some kid's going to walk in there, and he's going to you know, immediately grab that huge you know, $500 sled and then you know, take it over to Alberta and, and, uh, and uh, not be able to use it ever again. So. <laughs> So, but you know, Toys for Tots has has a has their heart in the right place, and, and certainly uh, all my uh, other coworkers from my other place of employment today, we had a good time sorting the toys, and we did a lot of heavy lifting. And um, uh, you know, earlier this year we had Bacon Fest, which benefited the Oregon Food Bank, which we're working for again here tonight. You so. took my deed. That's not <laughs> fair. That. Moving along. Well, no, I, that was my that was my transition because you. Uh, Segway. That okay. was my. Segway. Uh, we raised 865 pounds of food for the Oregon Food Bank at the 2009 Portland Bacon Fest. That's pretty big. 865 pounds. Yeah. That's like, yeah. That's like four human beings worth of food. That's a, that's a lot more than that. Well, well, four pe- four people at 200 pounds. It's like four oh, big go. people. Four people. Okay. Okay, so like let's say five and a half. 5.75 human beings were the food. Yeah. When they came to pick the food up, they went to us and they said, they gave us two barrels. They said 300 pounds in each barrel. That's that's what we would like you to get. But we we surpassed the, the two barrels and just bags full of food afterwards. He took it back and he's like, I can't wait to weigh this. It was awesome. That was that was my charitable contribution. Well, bless you. Yes. Well, what about yours? What about my what? What, what was your charitable the contribution? The chocolate willy does not count. No. Thanks. What? Thanks. Jesus. Um, actually, I'm working on my charitable thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, actually, I'm pretty new to Free Geek. Pretty okay. new. Yeah. I wasn't quite aware of how it all worked. Um, actually, Portland's own Will Raddick yes. pointed out quite a bit how it worked for me. Um, a lot of people don't know this. When we've been setting up PDX.FM, we basically employ everything backwards. We go into technology stores. We take like a dozen of each, and we decide later we only needed one. Yep. That's so the way we, ended we up, do it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of stupid when you really think about it. But, so I've been compiling like a, a large pile of stuff to donate to them before the end of the year. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. No, I, it's true. Very cool. It's I true, know. really. And I'm sure it has nothing to do with your taxes. What, what, what tax? No. <laughs> no. Not at all. <laughs> Have you ever been to Free Geek? No, I have not. I went there when I was broke poor. Broke You'll poor. be going there actually pretty soon. No. No, really, you will. I will? Yeah, because I actually need a ride to take all the stuff down. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I went there and got a cable. I was looking for a Firewire 400, and they happened to have one there. It was $2. And I was oh. broke. I first moved here. I didn't have a job. It was awesome. I was like, $2? Yes. They're like thirty-four ninety-nine in the store. Yeah, actually, you know what's funny about that? Hmm. I was just at a major retailer the other day uh-huh. looking for a similar cable and declined. They don't have it. Well, no, they have them, but I'm not, I mean, I have like 50 bucks to uh, my name Oh, right your now. card was declined. <laughs> no, I no. declined. <laughs> no, I mean, no, I figured, <laughs> well, hmm, I could get this Firewire cable and, what, well, like, eat fourth meal for, you know, the rest of the week. Or ramen. Ramen. Yes. Ramen might work. I, I can ration the Taco Bell taco. <laughs> yes. I can make that work for me. 59 cents, twice a day. They got the nachos. 79, 89, 99, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're delicious. They are. They are. They are. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's my charitable thing for the year so far. Well, that's the evil of retail markup. Well, that's a cool thing yeah. to be here too. It's like technology. Like you're you're in a cool spot. What in Portland? Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. 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 It's <laughs> it's the fertile least. it's the fertile crescent of technology. It is. It is. Even though everybody's getting laid off, but so the the fun part is I get to give max. I, I like to think that some of these PC people will end up with my max. Hmm. That's a little snooty. What? what it, well, I mean, just because you're just, on a PC. 
Yeah. Are you mad? No, I look. I'm not. I'm not into the whole PC. I'm an Apple. Whatever. I'm a Mac. Why are you battle. calling me snooty? No, because I, I, you're like I, I'm giving Macs to them. You know, letting them eat cake. Like the Mac is the cake of the computer world. It's not. No. Is it possible is? to ask a question here? Sure. All right. Raise your hand if you own a Mac. Wait a minute. You don't. I did. What are you talking about? I, I you, sold your, sold it. you just sold it on Craigslist the if other day. It didn't Christian. even work. I know. It sounded like a. a well, I don't What'd know. you tell the guy? Just tell the guy, hey, we're just good. See, so we yeah. have a we have a musician booing the Max. Oh yeah, put your thumb Who's right up. Musician? Oh yeah, kick him in the nut. Intel no. makes Max. I mean, Mac, Intel, Intel doesn't make Max. Isn't there a shirt that says that? My dad worked at Intel. Isn't I have one. <laughs> <laughs> my dad worked at Intel. Yeah, well, my dad did. My dad worked in a salt mine. <laughs> So your salt dad mine? could have salt while he while he was eating. What does That's, your dad do? My dad? Well, yeah. my dad is close. Works. It's almost a salt mine. He, he's a steel worker in Pennsylvania. Oh wow. Really? Yeah, he runs a crane for the for the uh, what was once Bethlehem Steel. This may be a dumb so. question, but if he had anything to do with the steel bridge here in Portland? He did not. Okay. I think the steel bridge was was built a long time. That might be Pennsylvania steel. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Did it, did it, is it identified? Like, do they stamp it? I'm sure somewhere on the steel bridge you can find out where that steel came from. Okay, well, I'll, maybe I'll go look on There it. is a steel West mill Virginia. in Portland, though. West Virginia? Yeah. Oh, it's oh. it? Yeah. How do you, I keep forgetting this. How do you know that? I, because I know these things. Because okay. he plays Modern Warfare, Very too. Bizarre. Yeah, I'm making it up as I go along. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I guess You're the, the fact checker. You're the one that always knows all the information. I figure you'd know this. The bridge has an accent, I guess. Does it? <laughs> what kind of accent? <laughs> well, it's obviously West Virginian. Yeah, well, okay. Do your best West Virginia accent. Um, Say, the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. Where are my food stamps? Oh. <laughs> oh. This is a charitable oh. thing. Ding, ding, ding. Ah. Pennsylvania. You, look, I, look. He'll be here all day. There were, there were two reasons to go to, to West Virginia when you were living in Pittsburgh. Crack or food stamps. You could, get, you, could, you could go and you could buy food stamps for pennies on a dollar from people in West Virginia. Was the crack that good or that's just what was available at the time? No, you could buy, once you got the food stamps, you could then buy crack with them. Oh. So, it was like a barter system. <laughs> it's totally a barter system. Okay. So it's a you know, West Virginia. West Virginia. It's a it's a microcosm of bad teeth and crack and crack NASCAR and, and I don't know. So. Oh, I don't remember NASCAR. <laughs> she does that the best. Well, we went. Do you want the story? Do, you want do, the, do the story. Okay. Yeah, so sorry. we go to pick up a skate ramp for a bacon fest, and uh, we drive all the way out <laughs> to the Dalles. The Dalles is a little place outside of Oregon. Yeah, but you kept calling it the Dolls. The Dolls. It's actually in Oregon. It's but like go a little ahead. doll in Chucky. No, but we go out there and uh, we go to meet this guy and we're like, where the fuck is this house? And it's like a tweener house. It's like on the driveway, tween two houses. And we go, tweener house. And we find it. And the guy comes out and he goes, hey, I'm going to watch the skate ramp. He's skate ramp, skate ramp. He's going to watch the ramp. And we said, we're here for the skate ramp. And he looks at me and goes, watch the skate ramp. Watch the skate ramp, $300. And I said, all right, I got, I got the 300 bucks, but uh. It's a, it ain't gonna fit in my SUV, and he goes, well, I can tow it out there for you. I go, all right, I'll give you a hundred bucks to tow it for you. And he goes, well, I don't know, 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 humana, humana, balahala sandwiches. <laughs> he didn't know. Balahala sandwiches. He wasn't gonna, he didn't want my hundred bucks to bring it out there. And he posted, so he's home for 300 bucks. He posted the next day on Craigslist for a hundred bucks. And, and I would have given him 300 plus 100 to bring it out to me. But he was like, no, bahala hala. <laughs> He wouldn't do it. Well, when you're figuring transactions on an abacus, that will happen. What's an abacus? <laughs> it's a calculator. It's a calculator from the 12th century. Really? <laughs> yeah. oh. I'm not you very good. That was a few that years that ago. Your, your parents used no. to give you, you know, the little slider. That was, that was like back. 10 centuries ago. 10 centuries. Okay, wait, Nine. wait, hold on. I can Nine. probably let me. I can bridge the gap here. You know when you're playing when you're playing pool, a little snooker. You know what I mean? And you got I don't a, know what a snooker is. Okay, you know you've played pool, billiards. Pool, yeah. Billiards. Okay. billiards. You know when you you know when you have to take your stick when you win and you move the beads up across. No. Right. I don't know that. Okay, well then I can't translate. <laughs> we I'm can't sorry. help you. No, That's okay, abacus. do you remember those things that your parents used to have? It like keeps score. Like, huh? Does it like keep score? Yeah, but like an abacus is one of those things where they it's just like a big square and then they have the beads. That are on they, a rod. That are on a rod. Okay. Which yeah. Which sounds really weird now that we're talking about it. Beads on a rod. Beads on a rod. Like balls on a stick. Like balls on a stick, yeah. Yeah, like exactly. the top ones, hundreds, then tens, then singles. Okay, so it's like a calculator, though? So this guy wanted 300, zero, zero. Okay. You see what I mean? Hmm. And, and he now, was willing to deliver. Well, now is the perfect time yeah. to break out your abacus and figure out how much money you can donate. 
on one side or either of us, there's a little donate bar. So please, click on that bar, give freely. It'll make you feel good. It's a week to Christmas. Yes, it the is. The more you donate, the more I'll drink. Is that this way? Good or idea. Or is it that yeah. way? It's that way. In five minutes. In five no, minutes. Are you, are you talking no, about I'm, I'm talking about the donate button. It, it, just point both ways. You'll, you'll hit it either way. I think the donut button is here. The donut it's button? Maybe the like donut right button. there. No, no. Maybe, no, this way? All right. Oh, that's Whoever's closest crash. wins uh, something. I, I get I get oh, it's stick. Um, let's say yeah. um, the next person buys the bar tab. I, I bet it's here. Sorry, let me change this. Yeah, here. What do you point, you're pointing at me. You're the pointing at my name. Button. No, I'm not looking Wait at the minute. screen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If they're watching full screen, they're not going to see it at all. So. Oh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, don't do that. Don't watch full don't screen. Don't watch full screen. Don't watch full screen. You're missing so much. You don't know how much here. you're missing. You're missing a Over lot. Over here. You're not able to donate. If you watch full screen. Like yeah. the chat. So like there's chat. a chat. I wonder what they're saying on Twitter about us right now. Probably nothing. That I have 420 followers. <laughs> really? Yeah. Exactly? 420. Is that as of today? As of today. Really? Yeah, she I tweeted, tweeted that out. out. She's like, I have 420 yeah. followers. Everybody was like, ha, ha, ha. And I tweeted out to uh, Cosmic Charlie. I said, well, it's OK. Everybody gets the joke because 97% of people on Twitter are stoned. He's like, well, let's convert the other 3%. And I was like, we don't have to convert them. They will come. Because they're bots. Yeah. Yeah, the other 3%. Somebody yeah. has to run Twitter. Yeah. Well, they smoke, too. Who runs Twitter? Magicians. The Twitter really? CEOs. How do you know that? I think it's birds. Every time birds? I bring up birds. Twitter, every time I bring up Twitter, birds. it's a big pile of magic. <laughs> ah. Or a big pile of dung, depending on which. Magic I'm dung. At. Magic dung. Magic it works dung. most of the time. We should share a secret with them about searching Twitter for hilarious content. That's true. Yeah. But I, we'll do that after the break. Okay. After the break, yeah. if you manage to come back, we'll tell you our secret to hours of endless hours of entertainment. Oh, totally. Using Twitter. On Twitter. Just for fun. For fun. Just for. Not really for profit. I, I was did it for today. Fun and profit. Was, did you? I did. Are you that bored? No, I was just no. I, I had At like work? no. I, it was during the Mansfields. Oh. Oh well, that's forgiven. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm basically paying you to sit around and do the Twitter. Well, if we're gonna be like proper, you don't pay me. No, I don't. <laughs> so that's okay. Social networking is a very su part of any successful uh, business these days. So I think we're going to uh, take a little break and uh, we'll be right back. Someone's flashing a sign on my face. So let's do that. Yeah, we're going to go over to uh, Target for tomorrow. Hooray. Take it away, boys.
favorite target for tomorrow on the Horns of Destruction out of Corvallis and Portland, Oregon. Yeah. We want another one? All right, here we go. <laughs> Listen, I was standing right beside When it fired, you found the answers that were still so much to find When the stars all leave the sky, you know they're having us to die Oh, don't you ever, oh you never, don't you ever want to ask them why Target for tomorrow, Horns of Destruction. Ow! 
Thank God for that break. I needed a uh, costume change. Yeah, I'd take yeah, a yeah. yeah. I can't get my mustache to stick. You sold me this mustache. It's bunk. Well, you said you wanted a mustache, right? I did. No, I said I wanted a mustache. I wanted ride. no ride. Well, after all the rides that one had, I'm sure it's pretty sticky. Oh. So. It's like third hand at this point. Third hand sticky. Here. Even the floor had it stash. before you did. Sticky seconds. Sticky seconds? What are you pulling on there? I'm not pulling on anything. No, not you. You. What am I pulling You're on? You're like over here going like this. What's with that? No, I was making sure my mic was in oh, order. Oh, it's, it's fine. Is my mic in working order? No. I think it was a boob grab. Yeah, I think it was, too. Yeah. It was just like, oh, yeah, yeah. Trust me, there's, there's nothing like, interesting about me doing a boob grab. On <laughs> Here's the thing. It's like when you do the boob grab here on TV, it's like when you're in a car picking your nose. You think people can't see, but they can. They can. Yeah. Hundreds of people can see you right now. Especially yeah. if you're in an SUV. You know what's more interesting than that, though? I noticed, so they have the roving camera back there for the Target for Tomorrow camp. Yeah. Charlie, Target for Tomorrow. Yeah. He's got a nice ass, man. It's like packed tight like a can of sardines. You see that thing? Oh I thought God. I was homosexual. Like all up in oh, there. Oh, yeah, Charlie, come on. Yeah. Wait, wait, can you, can you pick that up for me? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Get that man butt Why out of here. Why would you? He's sitting on it. Huh? He's sitting on yeah, it now. You know, the camera gets a little low. You know, you can kind of tell. All right. Does he have low-cut jeans? Is he wearing, like, you know, those uh, yeah. skinny oh, jeans? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like in Superbad? Oh, 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 yeah. Skinny jean kind of man. Yeah. Hip huggers. Hipster jeans. But no, hip huggers. Hip huggers. Easy. 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 I, Easy. I, that, if, if yeah, I we think can't about that band, hipster. that band does not. I'm going to let you finish. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I had to do it. Yeah, that was, that was inevitable, wasn't it? Yeah. We can't be saying hipster. We're drinking PBRs. That's true. Yeah. It's well, actually, this is the hipster well, beer. Well, if you actually... I know. That's yeah, kind of yeah. what I'm getting at. There was an article, actually, on CNN about that a couple days ago. About hipsters? Yeah, as to why PBR is now the new hipster beer. Why? Because it's fucking good. Because it's good, because it's cheap, because the economy is crap. All of those reasons. And it's red, white, and blue. And it's blue, and it's got a ribbon, and it's, like, fucking patriotic. Yeah, but CNN, why are you paying attention to a communist news organization like that? Because I can't. Because it's a really short URL and it's easy to remember. Okay. Yes. How much do you think the average 12-pack of PBR costs? Not the average. The, the, Six dollars and 49 cents. No, the 12-pack we bought tonight. How much Seven dollars and 49 cents. Seven forty-nine. What How do much I get? This? Well, this you get my mustache. I already got it. <laughs> you can't have it. <laughs> What's your guess? You know what happens when you get old? On a 12-pack? Yeah. You get ear hair. Ew. Five ninety-nine. Which, you know what I, it was. I know what it was. Right. I was there. It was 789. Let's see, I was close. Apparently, you weren't close enough. <laughs> what do I you get? You were closer than Jay. What do I get? My mustache. So rather than go out and buy PBR tonight, we would highly suggest that you, you know, be charitable. We would. And for every $100 you donate, I will unbutton a button of my sweater vest here. Could, wait. <laughs> no, no, it's backwards. That's not what we said. Oh. Every hundred dollars people donate. You're going to, put donate. Oh. You're going to put supposed to unbutton on. it. For every hundred dollars people donate, you'll button one back up. No, I'll go down. <laughs> Reverse psychology. Easy. If you will. No, it's. Forget it. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna get it. Forget it. I don't get it. I need a drink. Are you saying I'm ugly? No. <laughs> that I have to button up? <laughs> that I shouldn't be unbuttoning? I, you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be obtuse to seeing you in a, a burka. In a what? A parka. A burka. A burka. A burka. My co-host Colin had a dream that we slept together last night. Yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> yep. That was really creepy. That was kind of weird. Yeah, that was Some strange. big man. We yeah. slept together. No. Yeah. No. But no, but it wasn't recreational. What it wasn't it? recreational at all. It was medicinal. Yeah. <laughs> like marijuana? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Sure. A little bit of a sure. fantasy travel through the mind of Colin. It was a jetpack Segway that had a remote control. But you're Segway obsessed. I am. I have a problem. I really have a problem. Yeah, you don't have a Segway. I would steal the charity money to go buy a Segway. <laughs> Great. <laughs> what? And that's why donations are not actually made in cash through here. Yeah, I'm a, They're I'm done a through the web. I need a toy. You're what? I'm a tot. I need a toy. Oh, yeah, she is a tot. I'm hot like a tater tot. <laughs> wow. You're on the wrong side of town. I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you need to go over to the east side. Really yeah. Northwest, southeast. I really do. Look, there's our cool thing again, and it's gone. The Aww. lower third. That's it's what they call it. Video terminology makes that the lower third. You know how I know that? Because you're a star? No, Final third. Cut Pro. Oh, Final uh, Cut Pro. Yeah. 
They taught me that in Final Cut Pro class. Can you go through a day without mentioning software? No. Okay. No, it's impossible. I, I, Why? I believe me, I know. Why would you want to? I'm just, I know, I'm just asking. Software. What do you want me to talk I about? I want the hardware. Robert, what? share your feelings with us. Open up. We want to know more about you. The people love you. That's all there is to me. Software. You're just software. a big bundle of software. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, okay. Did you come discounted in large I don't know. Quantities? You were just on my Mac earlier. It was a whole cake thing. You, you said my Mac was nothing but cake or pie or something. Not yours, Macs in general. You, you, seem to be a little, you seem to be a little snooty about your Mac. I'm me. But I, you did ditch your iPhone. I did. You did ditch your and iPhone. I'm proud of it. So. I am proud of that. Yeah, today was the whole Operation Chokehold. Yeah, that didn't work out. I, Major I fail. slept through it. Yeah. I slept through it. For all the big deal we made about it, I slept through it. I didn't even realize it until like 1.15, I think. That yeah. it already happened? Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, it didn't, didn't even it didn't pay matter. attention. Didn't matter. No. Didn't end up mattering at all. Hmm. No. Uh, yeah. But I'm not iPhoned anymore. No. Nope. I cheated, though. I went and got an iPod Touch anyway. Yeah. So I had like $800 of apps sitting around in my iTunes. So um, I figured, I mean, I got to play these stupid things. Mm -hmm. I got Frogger. Do you find that any apps you actually use or play on a daily basis? I yeah. don't. Yes. Do you? Yeah. On yes. a daily basis. Oh, yeah. On a daily every basis, day. yes. Oh, yeah. It is my pooper app. Well, I use the mail and Twitter every day, but that's about it. What do you use every day? Uh, Soul Free Solitaire. Solitaire, every Solitaire, day. Solitaire, every day. Damn. I know. Uno. Yeah, and Uno. Uno. I rotate between that and Uno, between my Solitaire and Uno. Really? Yep. I used to play Uno on Xbox. I had to quit doing it. Because there was like porn, right? Yeah, because there was all these junk shots. It was like photo swap. Yeah, it was like all, yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. There's all these guys that are, you know, playing Uno. You're casually playing Uno. The next thing you know, it's like, uh, oh, hey, what's that? What? You didn't know that? Well, Do you have something you want a beer? Yeah, you can have First, a beer. We share. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're, they're. Get the fuck away from no, They're public domain. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. Good on camera. Oh, thanks. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> We'll look even better after about four of those. Last time I heard that, I had a, somebody gave me a roofie. Really? <laughs> you look great on camera. <laughs> have you ever had a roofie before? Yeah, they're fun. I have not. You have? Yeah. Who seduced you into a roofie? Me. You gave yourself a roofie? You gave yourself yeah. a roofie? You roofie yourself. I need some skin food today. Why to would you do that? Why would I do that? Because I want to see what it was like. Dude. You see it on all the crime shows. <laughs> yeah, well, but it still. Like? It was, well, it was pretty brief. I mean, was you just, it like tripping? No, it was more like you got kind of dizzy, kind of just weird, and then next well, thing you know, you yeah, wake up Well, at least you didn't up later. in the CSI morgue. I mean, you're lucky. Well, I'm more interested about the, the lead up to the actual to roofies. I mean, did you trick yourself by putting it in your drink? <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Oh, like, I don't know what I'm doing. No, no, no. And then you just passed out. Yeah, more or less. You don't, you don't pass out immediately. It's not like, you know, hey, I've consumed this. It's, it's not like that. It you know, takes a while, a basically. You 30-hour day, we like to support charity date rape. <laughs> That's pretty much what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bad topic, guys. I mean, I'm so sorry, but on no. yourself, that's fine. Self, you want a skin flute? Do yeah, it. If you take advantage of yourself, that's no big deal. Did you say you skin flute? Yeah, well, it's the skin. That's the, the third the time flute. she said skin flute. And it's the DJ. It's <laughs> DJ skin flute. DJ skin skin flute. Isn't he playing at home tonight? Yeah, he's spinning in Actually, I, he's going to be on Thirty Hour Day later. Oh, uh, DJ uh, skin flute yeah. is coming here. Yeah. Wow. What about DJ DJ? It's like three thirty, oh four o'clock in the morning, I think. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> nice what accent was that? Is that West Virginia? Yeah. Yes. Yes. What do you think of my hat? Do Alabama. It's very jingly. It's odd. You it look like a, like, a hat. Hat. like a doctor It's Seuss kind of bothersome in a way. Yeah. yeah, very Dr. Seuss-ish, yes. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Kind of. I, I, I kind of. Elton yeah. John, here's a who. <laughs> Does he? With who? <laughs> Elton John has a roofie. With his boo. <laughs> who is Elton John's boo these days? He's like 16. No, oh, he's John? not. He's, hot. he's a younger man. He's a kept man. Well, I guess younger are different. Than John? A lot younger. Oh, John's but like 65 years old. Uh, I we're mean, talking you know. like a 20-year-old. He's here. got the AARP card. Man. 